All right, it is time to figure out if I'm gonna fail at what's in the box again, or if I'm actually gonna figure out a good idea about what's in this box. So I have no idea what's in there. You guys can see it, I can't, you know the drill by now. So let's dive into this. Thank you for being here. If you have not subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Now let's figure out what's in this box. I'm ready to not be stumped this time because the last what's in the box got me, Bill got me good. Now here we go, let's dive in. Bam, bam, bam. Cheers, whoa, that was a bad cheers. This one actually, you know, after I was thinking about the last one, this one looks a lot darker. Like this one has a really dark color on it. It's in a nice dark amber color. Now let's smell it. On the nose, it smells good. Doesn't smell overly oaky. I get some caramel, vanilla, even like a chocolate note. There's like a light, like milk chocolate note in there. I almost, it almost smells like a weeded bourbon, like just my initial thought on it. Like it smells like soft and creamy. And like I got this slight, slight, slight note that I sometimes get out of a Maker's Mark, which is kind of like a, like a little bit of like a Sharpie note, but then it went away because I started smelling some like chocolate and vanilla, caramel, all that stuff. So overall the nose smells pretty good. Now let's taste it, here we go. Whoa, that is very creamy. That is like so creamy. It's like creamy, vanilla, caramel, a little cream soda, a little like, like a cinnamon roll actually. There's like a little bit of a cinnamon roll note on there. It's not super high proof by any sort of the imagination. It's just like good creamy vanilla caramel cinnamon roll. That's kind of what it tastes like. Let me take another sip. Now I'm getting a little bit of oakiness on there too. I like that. I like the oakiness. It might be an oaky or nuttiness even, like a light nuttiness. It kind of gave me like this pecan note, like a pecan cinnamon roll that just kind of came through. I do think this is a bourbon. God, I better not be wrong again, but I do think this is a bourbon. Oh yeah, I like this. I like it. I would buy it. I would drink it again. There is a chance that this could be like there's a chance this could be like a Maker's Mark cast drink or something like that. No, actually no, I, I could be completely wrong. I'm also getting like Heaven Hill vibes out of this, like an Elijah, Cra I'm losing my mind. Like I think this is around 120 proof, could be way off. I get a little more warmth than my like Kentucky hug in my throat. I do think this is Kentucky whiskey. Now I said I would buy this one. Let's talk about the price I would spend on it. I think I would spend $80 on this bottle. This seems like an $80 bottle of whiskey to me. I like it, it's good, I'd buy it. Uh, yeah. I don't think it's super oaky. I also don't think it's super youthful. I think it's probably around eight to 10 years. That's my guess. So eight to 10 years, 120 proof, I'd buy it. So Kentucky Distillery possibly. Now let's figure out what it is. Let me set this to the side and make a fool of myself once again. Here we go. I'm nervous. All right, let's figure it out. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Yeah, baby. This is Maker's Mark Cellar H, 115.7 proof. I was less than five po proof points off. I really don't know what the age of this is. The age of this one is 11 and 12 year old. So I said between eight and 10. I was a little bit off, but honestly, in reality, I wasn't that bad. And I said, it gave me that Maker's Mark note that I sometimes get. I should have went with my gut and I said it was creamy, like a weeded bourbon. Oh my gosh, nailed it. That was a good what's in the box. Oh, and by the way, I said I'd pay $80 for this bottle. Do you know how much this bottle costs? This bottle is like 150 or $160 retail. That's a little steep for this bottle. I don't think I would pay that again. Actually, no, I would not pay that again. I would pay 80 to $100 for this bottle. I said 80, so I'm gonna stick with my guns on that. I would not rebuy this bottle because that is really, really freaking expensive. And there are a lot of good bourbons out there for under $100. So there's my thoughts on this one. If you guys like this video, you like this series, hit that like button, leave a comment, and I hope you have a fabulous day. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and I'll see you next time.